and you probably don't want your team saving their passwords into Google Chrome. There isn't really a security risk for that, but there's probably gonna be a convenience risk. If I have a team using LastPass, how would I stop Google Chrome's save password feature? It defeats the purpose. That is absolutely correct. If you are using a tool like LastPass or Dashlane or 1Password or some other password kind of tool which is storing passwords for you and your team, you probably don't want your team saving their passwords into Google Chrome. There isn't really a security risk for that, but there's probably gonna be a convenience risk in that staff are lazy. They're gonna do the easiest thing for themselves, right? And if that means Google popping up and prompting them to save a password inside of Google Chrome, well, then they're just gonna click that button and save the password inside of Google Chrome. But what that may mean is that a password that you wanted shared with your team in LastPass or a password that you wanted to get access to once that person left the business from LastPass is no longer in there. It's sitting in Google Chrome's password manager. And maybe it confuses your team on having two different systems for storing passwords and that's gonna eat into their productivity time. And so what my recommendation would be then is to actually go ahead and switch that off via a Google policy. And so to do a Google policy for that, we're gonna go into our admin panel. So we're gonna head along to admin.google.com. So let's set up a policy for restricting someone from using the password manager inside Google Chrome. So we're gonna go into our device policy. So we're going to go into devices here. You can see we've got Chrome. We've got a few different options for Chrome here under settings. We've got users and browsers, devices, and then managed guest sessions. Now, some of these pertain to Chrome devices like a Chrome box or a Chrome book or a computer running Chrome OS Flex. But we're looking for user settings and inside user settings, we can apply them to anyone with a Chrome browser. Doesn't matter if they're using a Chrome device, a Windows machine or a Mac. You can apply Chrome policies and as long as someone is signed into Google Chrome, it's gonna to apply to their computer. So if we click on my little pretty little face there, you can see I'm signed up for Google Chrome here. And what that does is that means that any company policies are gonna be pushed down to this device. Now, of course, it's important if you're rolling out a policy to staff, you gotta make sure that they're signed into Chrome. So one of the first things that you do when you onboard a staff member is you want to enforce that they are signed into Chrome on their computer so you can make sure each one of those policies are applied. Now, I don't know if you can force someone to be signed into Chrome before they can access their Google account, but I would love to have that as a feature. So Google, if you're listening, we would love to have the option to actually force someone to be signed into Chrome before they can access their Gmail account. All right, so let's go into settings and then users and browsers. This is where we add our user settings. And we should be able to just run a search here. If I run a search for password. Let's see if I can find policies relating to password. Now I'm at the top level of my organizational unit here, meaning that I'm going to apply these across the whole company. If I wanted to apply this policy just to a subset of users, I would first create an organizational unit and put certain users in that unit. And then I would select that unit and then set up some settings just for that unit. But I'm going to go right across the whole company because we want to set this for everyone and we want to disable the password manager for absolutely everyone. So I'm going to click the top organizational unit. I've searched for anything related to the word password to show me all of my password policies. And let's see what we've got here. Okay, cool. So under the security menu, password manager is what it's called. And you can see I've actually already set this policy for my company. Never allow the use of password manager. So the three options that you have here as a policy is allow the user to decide, always allow the use, or never allow the use. If you want to lock it down, you can never allow the use and that will lock down the use of the password manager inside of Google. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.